Let's sit by the window so we can get some good footage for the people. That is why we have Brady as my roommate, my second hand man. They say opposites attract, and that's why we get along so well because he definitely thinks of the things that I might not think of. So look at this here as we drive away. Well, drive closer, I guess, to the port of Juno, not drive away. <laughs> drive closer to the port of Juno. And man, I would not have been able to encapsulate this if we did sit by the window. So, uh, yeah, give uh, some thanks to Brady for that wonderful idea because, oh my god, I can stick my head out of here. Look at this. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Literally, stick my head out the window. Ain't that cool? I got a boat full of uh, people waiting to get off. Come on to Juno with us. National Geographic boat, guys, as we pull in here. That's pretty cool. We actually have a bunch of uh, cruise ships in port here. Carnival Spirit, we have the Sapphire Princess behind us. This National Geographic boat, and uh, what is up here? I can't make out what is up there, but uh, maybe it looks like MSC with that, that top on them. But yeah, we got four, five ships in port. We are the fifth, and that is why we are tendering over to Juno. We are in Juno, just like that. We are going to explore Juno just a little bit. We're going to take our train or our bus to Mendenhall Glacier once we find out. Oh, there's the Glacier Express. We'll be figuring out that Glacier Express in just a minute. But we're going to walk around here and uh, we'll show you and uh, let you guys into some Juno, Alaska. Another part of Juno today. It is going to be super busy because there are five ships in port today so as you can see the port of Juneau is very very busy today everybody is getting ready to go on their excursions everyone's signing up for some last minute excursions and as you can see we have some ships in port here but Brady and I will be taking the bus to Mendenhall Glacier and I will share that with you guys and then I'm going to show you guys a little bit about Juno here around the port once we get back but again very congested because we have five ships in port today so here's a little great learning tip about the port of Juno and Alaska Brady and myself were actually going to do the Mendenhall Glacier tour where they take you on a bus and uh, they take you back uh, three hours you kind of just get to explore the glacier however one the tour that they actually offer on the Mendenhall Glacier, not the $20 or $30 tour anymore, they offer a $75 city and Mendenhall Glacier tour because they are cutting back on the people that are visiting the Mendenhall Glacier. So they're doing it in smaller groups. However, that $75 excursion was still sold out. So here's a learning tip for everybody that comes to Alaska. Make sure you book your excursions early. Brady and I are absolutely fine with it because we are adventurers of the port. So we're just going to go probably hang out at a brewery. I might hit, um, you know, something that's a little legal here. And uh, we might end up at some shopping. So I'm going to take you guys along. Come on over to the port of Juno and uh, follow us along for the day. Hey guys, look at this. This is pretty cool. We have a plane pulling in. I'm pretty sure to do an excursion. But a big plane pulling in right at the port of Juno. That is pretty cool. If it is a little loud, I'm sorry you can't hear me. But look at that. That is awesome. So really this vlog is just gonna be a lot of exploring because Brady and I really have no other plans. We have nine hours, eight hours, eight and a half hours in Juno. I don't know if we're gonna stay that long, but we are basically just walking around Juno. We have decided to walk down Front Street. I somehow or another found a Heritage Coffee Roasting Co. So, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go in there and try some Alaskan coffee. But we are walking down Front Street here. We have so many people in port because there's five ships in port, like I said. All ranging from really small ships like that uh, National Geographic ship all the way to big ships like the Carnival Spirit. We are all here. It's pretty cool here in Juneau. Temperature today is really, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, 
we'll take you along as we explore more. So since you guys know that I'm an absolute coffee lover, I found myself here at the Heritage Coffee Company in Alaska. And I'm gonna get myself a little drip coffee. It is a Sumatra coffee. I will let you guys know how it is, but I love local coffee, love it. So even though Brady isn't a consumer, uh, we have found the fireweed factory. And uh, I don't know, your boy may or may not go in. All right, here we are headed into the Imperial Bar. Brady said, hey, let's get an Alaskan beer. And I said, why not? So let's hop on into uh, the Imperial Bar and uh, get a beer. Woo, an Alaskan beer for sure. So went with the Alaskan Brewing Company. Ale. And that's actually really, really enjoyable. Super, super nice. Definitely like a blonde ale and uh, super tasty for being Juno brewed or Alaskan brewed, I should say. Another popular tourist excursion in Juno is this Golden Belt Alaskan Trail that actually takes you all the way up. Let's see if I can get it in there. All the way up there. And uh, you get to have some lunch and uh, see a very scenic you know now this is fifty dollars to ride this if somehow or another you are able to hike all the way up you get it for free and you get the ride back down for free but uh, Brady and myself did not do that we are just walking through town but I wanted to show you this as this was pulling in here this gold belt tram all right so maybe one of the last stops here that we are going to be able to record because my phone's almost gonna die but we are gonna go into the ever so famous Red Dog Saloon and grab a little bite to eat and also some beer. So come on along, follow along as we go into the very famous Red Dog Saloon. It's full. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> it wouldn't be uh, famous if it wasn't full, right? But at least get to the showing of the, oh wow. Full is an understatement in the Red Dog Saloon. Let's see if we can get a beer. Right, so Red Dog Saloon and we are going to do the ever so famous duck fart shot. I'm gonna show you guys here, hold on. So, duck fart shot. It's what we're known for. All right, Brady, you ready for this one? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Cheers, my friend. Bottoms up. That was actually good. Quack. Everyone, so thank you so much for joining us in the port of Juneau, Alaska. Brady and I just finished up at Red Dog Saloon, got some souvenirs and definitely some good food and some good drinks. We are about to get back on the boat and uh, I hope you will join us for day two tomorrow in Skagway. So we will see you there.